So exactly when will Apple's AI features be here? Great article in The Verge following up on the iPhone 16 event on Monday of this past week. Apple heavily sprinkled mentions of AI throughout its iPhone 16 event on Monday. However, generative Apple intelligence features will not be ready for the public launch of iOS 18 on September 16th or on the new iPhones when they are released on September 20th. The first set of Apple's AI features are scheduled for public availability next month in most regions, being October. So what are those? Writing tools. Text rewrite. Text rewrite will morph your email writing draft into a more professional one. Proofread. As in real life, proofread should correct your grammar and sentence structure. Summarize text. It will be like letting AI do a TLDR for you. Summarized text will shorten your writing to just the important parts or create a bulleted list or table. These are all chat GPT functions, by the way. And Smart Reply. Smart Reply will give you a few suggestions to get you started to reply to an email or a text. So a lot of that's already out there, but obviously not on the Apple phone yet until next month. But then there's new Siri. So Siri is getting a whole new look. It'll have a rainbow ring around the edges of the screen. And Apple has their own new language model that will be on device. So this is really good. This and obviously they're using an AI chip now. Siri should get smarter and better at parsing natural language now. Meanwhile, more complex questions will be sent to Apple's private cloud compute server, which Apple claims acts as a computational extension of your device and does not retain any data. So that's great in terms of maintaining privacy, which is Apple's huge selling point. Then starting in October, you can type to Siri as well as talk. Next up, photos. Cleanup. Similar to Google's Magic Eraser, Cleanup will remove unwanted objects in your photos. Search. You'll be able to search for photos using natural language to find specific subjects. Memories. You'll be able to make a movie using media from your photos library by writing out a prompt. And it should create a narratively driven story with chapters. So that's new and cool. Transcription. Phone call recording and transcription. However, it will tell all parties on the call that the call is being re recorded. By the way, there's another very cool recently out AI device called Plaud that will record your phone calls without telling people. And then now there will be voice recordings and notes. You'll be able to record audio within the actual notes app and it will transcribe speech into text. You know, if they're going to do that, it would make sense for them to merge those two apps, notes and voice memos. Then the article talks about Apple intelligence features that are coming later than October. Apple says other AI features will roll out later this year and in the months following. Unfortunately, these are some of the most eye-catching features coming to Apple intelligence. And now we're really getting to the cool stuff. Visual intelligence. Apple's new visual intelligence introduced during the iPhone 16 presentation can search for things just by snapping a photo. And then it says, for example, you take a picture of a front of a restaurant and it'll pop up the menu and hours and stuff like that. Visual intelligence when it arrives will be activated using the camera control side button on the new iPhone 16. Genmoji. This is also cool. You'll also be able to create your own emoji by entering a text prompt and Apple's image generator will make you a new emoji you can send to your friends. Image Playground. In addition to making custom emoji, Apple Intelligence will also eventually create custom images. Enter a text prompt for what you'd like. Some restrictions will apply and Apple's models will conjure up a picture for you. So this last bit sounds a little bit like they're including both ChatGPT and Dolly 3 which is 
a very interesting approach. Siri personal context. Now, this is the part I personally am really interested in seeing. Siri's usefulness will evolve later by contextually helping you with on-screen information. Open AI connection anywhere there are Apple intelligence writing tools, you will have the option to use ChatGPT for additional Gen AI options. ChatGPT should also be able to process your Siri request for more advanced answers to questions. That's cool too, because Siri just gave me a wrong answer while I'm recording this video. And then the long awaited for third-party app connections with Siri. Apple's also promising Siri will one day complete in-app requests like making photo edits and an image editing app using pictures in your photo app. So that's also very cool. It's like merging multiple apps again. So of course, like everything else with AI, this is Gen 1. It will rapidly evolve, just like ChatGPT will continue to rapidly evolve, just like Dolly 3 will continue to rapidly evolve. All of this technology is exponential now, which means the rate of change is increasing exponentially, so our minds will be blown over the next couple of years. Very shortly, Siri will evolve into your very real personal assistant who will manage everything for you, including your calendar, invites to people. If you have a smart fridge, monitoring what you have in the fridge and reordering your groceries and having them delivered automatically without you doing a thing and much, much more, including all the house cleaning using robotics and stuff like that. This is we're on the verge of a completely new world. Very exciting and scary at the same time. So thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. We're starting to get Patreon contributions. Really appreciate that. Your support is really helpful for the channel. So thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.